Take one. Take one. Nah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Action. DJ Juice, what's up, boy? Hey, what's going on? It's DJ D. Berry. Yeah, man, it's Terry Blue. And they get some light skin. Maybe it's Terry Blue. Yeah, man, but uh, you're now tuned in to Street Global, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dallas Global, you know what I mean? Streets A&R, you know yes, what I'm saying? The one and the only, you know what yeah, I'm talking about? Yes, yeah, man. So, um, what's, what's been new, man? What's, what's been going on? I mean, shit, it's a, it's a lot of shit that's been going on in the city, for real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, shit, I just do my first show, you know what I'm saying? Dallas Global Apollo, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It was a good, nice turnout. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, it's, it's just a lot been going on in the city, man. We really got a lot to talk about for real, so shit. How did, how did, how did the show go, though? You know what I'm saying? I heard it was lit. Yeah, nah, nah, it was, it was definitely lit. We had a big crowd, you know what I'm saying? Big turnout. The city definitely came out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Shout out to D. Berry for, you know what I'm saying, having some full work artists in here, some dope full work artists in here, you know what I'm saying? It hey. was just, uh, uh, it really was a good turnout, man, so shit, if you missed it, be sure to catch the next one because who knows when I'm gonna do another one. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was lit. Do you do you believe that uh, these artists out here be taking you know that uh, that seriously, like the showcases and like what's what's uh, like the album mics? Do you think they be taking that serious? Hell no, hell no. But when they came to this one, like niggas was like. Damn, I, I see it's a crowd. I need to be yeah, on my yeah, best yeah. shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I seen I seen I seen the reaction from the from you know what I'm saying the, yeah. the artists performing like damn bro I wanna go right now. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm performing yeah. right now type shit, so they was excited and shit about the show. But yeah, it's a lot of artists that don't that don't take take that shit serious for real. Yeah, yeah. I mean I feel like uh when the artists that they want to go right now, I feel like they wanna like have that crowd out there, you know what I'm saying? To yeah, show yeah. off like you know what I'm saying, their skills, their music, their stage presence and um I feel like the open mic, you should take that shit seriously because, for one, your stage presence. You know what I'm saying? Some of these artists out here don't even have like good stage presence, like at all. You know what I mean? That's a fact. So That's a fact. like, like, I, like niggas look at that shit. Like you just stand around one spot. You know what I mean? Rapping. Yeah. I mean, nigga, like where's the turn up? And niggas know your song, but where? Like how, how can you know what I mean? Like how can you interest me? On, on, on you as an artist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. I, uh, not to cut you off, bro, but shit, like the females that perform, everybody said they had like the best stage presence and the yeah, best, for sure, for sure, the for best sure. performance yeah. overall. Like, yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of dope females here, so shout out to them too. I mean, I feel like it's, it's kind of easier for a female to not like like a girly girl female like Megan Thee Stallion yeah. like you know what I'm saying because you know what I'm saying she she twerking you know what I mean she getting you know females on stage uh, uh, you know what I'm saying shaking that shit like that yeah, you yeah. know what I mean so I feel like it's it's kind of easy for female artists to perform you know what I mean. I mean but, I agree with you to a certain extent, but I ain't gonna lie. When I first seen Megan Thee Stallion, I knew she was a star. Like we was actually sure. like on. Uh, we was on the the, the Dallas, the Houston versus Dallas cycle like, together. Like, man, I was on that one too. She, and I seen her, I was like, hey, damn, like, hey, hey, she a star. She, she, she ate that hoe. Yeah, she, 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 she showed out. Like, like, everybody was tuned in. I was like, she a star for sure. So. And these niggas tuned into the ass while they niggas looking at them. Like, yeah, I and she was like the shit she was saying too was like, damn, like kind of match her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I saw like, that shit. Yeah, I saw that shit. But shit, yeah, but shit, hey, most of these artists, they gotta take that shit seriously, you know what I mean? Hey, but it, it, show, it, show, it shows you, like, you um, investing, you know what I mean, in your yeah. crap, too, you know what I mean? Because you never know who's looking, and you never know, you know what I'm saying, who's there, you know what I'm right. saying, watching you, you know what I mean? So shit, you might be paying, what, for, for like, $50, $25, or whatever to perform, you might even pay nothing to perform, but you gotta pay to get in. Right. But the same thing is, you know what I'm saying, that's showing investment, that's showing people that you seriously, you know what I'm saying, about your craft, you know what I mean? That's a fact. So that's a big part of it that plays in too. That's a fact. And a lot of these niggas are part-time rappers. Just put that out there, niggas want to rap when it's, you yeah. know, it's convenient for them. Hey, no, nah, for real, because part-time rappers, you know, when they come out that uh, tax season, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, for yeah, real. That's when they get changed. A lot of, 
rental cars and hey, Airbnbs and shit. Hey, it's a new that tax season, right. a motherfucker, man. Hey, a lot of these rappers, tax season rappers, man, because uh, I know my boy Juice over here. They be uh be grabbing them cover arts. You know what I'm saying? You know they be. Hey, I need an intro to my new song. My tape coming up, bro. I want you to host it. Then you, how, how much did you charge? Shit. I said, well, what's the price? I ain't bet, nigga. Nigga, I'm dropping another tape around me. Mm-hmm. Don't hear from niggas again. Yeah. They didn't spend all their money and shit. Like, I feel like, nigga, if you going to do that, at least invest in promo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like yeah. do that shit where it's going to... Uh, and invest in you for like the long run. You know what I mean? Don't be like, you know what I'm saying, just blowing that shit on stupid shit like fucking strippers and like shit like that. Like yeah. Yeah. promote yourself on say cheese, Dallas Global, you know what I'm saying, World Star. You know what I mean? Shit like that to where yeah, it's gonna benefit you. Or at least if you go go to the strip club, at least play the DJ in the strip club exactly. and say your record while you throwing money on these hoes. Like, exactly, exactly, like, exactly. Cause this hoe will take your bread not play your music, go home and spend your bread, and you looking stupid, I spent. Man, me and my pop was just talking about that shit, like, this nigga go spend a band on some strippers, but like, won't pay for a video, promotion, or even the DJ in that club to spend your song. Nobody knows you after you walk out of that bitch, bro. Exactly. <laughs> it's just like, so yeah, I'm bro, be tripping, I, be telling that, I be telling niggas that shit all the time to where, if you gonna do that, if you go like, you know what I'm saying, fuck off a couple of hundred or whatever at the strip club, like, you know what I'm saying, and give the DJ a little 20, you know what I'm saying, $20, 30 like whatever you wanna charge to play your record, excuse me. To play your record, and then, like, you know what I'm saying, throw like a hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying, a hundred dollars is one, but like a lot of money. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying, some shit. Fact. You and got, you got. Niggas throw more than that. That's what's crazy, like, a nigga will throw a thousand dollars on this girl and not give a DJ a hundred dollars, bro. A hundred. You could you could you could get a DJ hundred dollars throw thirty and be cool with the strip club. Exactly for, for sure. These niggas, I, I don't know, bro. It, it, I don't know, bro. It's different. But but the thing is, niggas don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? When you when you do that, you gotta tell the DJ, hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? Play my shit like consistently because you gotta pick that one girl that's like the top five of the girls in the strip club, and then pick that girl and say, hey, I'm gonna throw whatever on you. You know what I'm saying? This is my song that's about to come up. I'm gonna throw it on you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, you know what I'm saying? Every time you go on stage, I need you to dance to my song. Yeah, you know what game. I mean? Hey, that's game. That's so shit. Game right so there. shit. So then, what you do is, when you throw that money and shit like that, she gonna be looking for you, you know what I'm saying? Next time you come. Yeah. But the thing is, she gonna, she gonna think, like, okay, if that's the song, she might like it. That shit yeah. jam. Different strippers dance at different clubs. That's a fact. She gonna take that song to. Uh, DG, she might be a DG on Monday. She's gonna be live on Thursday. She's gonna take that song to be live. She might go to where I DJ at Temptations, you know what I'm saying, on Saturday. She's gonna take that shit to three different clubs. Now you got fucking hundreds of thousands of people, you know what I'm saying, listening to your shit. You know what I'm saying, and asking what the fuck it is off of one strip, off of one play. You know what I'm saying? But then again, once you throw that money on that one stripper, you know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna look at that. Oh, this nigga, throw, that's the money throwing song right there. Ain't that whole jam? You know what I'm saying? Niggas like, oh, that, okay, next time that song come on, I'm gonna fuck it up too. Yeah. Now your song is in rotation of every motherfucking club. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the DJ gonna like it as well. That's DG. I mean, my fault. That's D. D. Barry give me all that strip club game. <laughs> free game. <laughs> all that free game. Cause look, I ain't all be in the strip club, so I wouldn't have known that shit. But hey, yeah. this give me all the free game, man. Pay but even, but even, but even in the regular club, bro. Mm-hmm. Even in a regular club, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's much like more easier. Well, it's, it's not easy. I say it's harder in a regular club because of you know what I'm saying. The regular club, it's it's older. It's yeah. older music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Niggas still be jamming on like, you know what I'm saying, twerks on B-King shit like that. Yeah. And strip club, it's still trap shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But in, in a regular club, you can pay DJ, you know what I'm saying, 20 same shit, you pay strip club DJ, whatever like that. But the thing is, it's gonna depend on the, uh, how, like how hot that song is, how hard it is, you know what I'm saying, and what the crowd reaction is of it is because in the uh, in the regular club, ain't no ass shaking. I'm not entertained, I'm just entertained by the music. Yeah, so if the shit will happen, the shit not gonna go. But if the shit is high right, and it's strictly, it's still gonna go because it's some ass shaking to it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm still being entertained by listening to some real shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
So shit. So look, let me ask you this: How important is the DJs to a rapper's career? Like, because a lot of rappers don't really understand until well, they get to a point to like, hey, I need, excuse me, I need this DJ. You know what I'm saying? I need this nigga to spend my shit. Well, I feel like YouTube is becoming the uh, record breaker. I should okay. say, but you still need a DJ to play in the club, though. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Because, but niggas not niggas not giving the DJ on a release record and say, "Hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? Haven't dropped this shit. Break this shit for me." You know what I'm saying? Niggas yeah. just going straight to YouTube, all these things or whatever. You know what I'm saying? To 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 get that get that exposure. You no, know what I'm so saying? Do you have to listen for new music more being a DJ? Yeah. Like just. Cause I people, mean, people come up to me, hey bro, you heard that new shit, that shit hard. I'm like, yeah, bro, I never heard that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. YouTube and my mixtapes are becoming the uh, record breakers nowadays. But you still need a DJ, you know what I'm saying, in your career. Because without the artist, I mean, without the DJ, ain't no artist. You know what I'm saying? Without the producer, ain't no artist. You know what I'm saying? Without the video, do the bloggers, ain't no artist. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So at the, it's just, it's just goes back to artist needs everybody. Okay, you know so I right, yeah, I'm glad you said that. So look, let me ask you another question. For artists that like that do pay for promotion and shit, that yeah. do invest in themselves and people still don't know them like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's a nigga, it can, you can have a million dollars spend bread on this, this yeah. and that, like, and niggas still don't know you. Like what advice do you think you can give to artists like like just stay down with this shit or or like what? Well, you gotta think about it like this. It's just like working out. Or like when you lose weight, it's eighty percent your diet and it's twenty percent of working out. When if this music shit is eighty percent promotion and it's twenty percent talent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because niggas can be whack as fuck, bro. You know what I'm saying? Then just blow the fuck up. It's about your image, your promotion. You know what I'm saying? What you looking like, how you dressing, all this shit, how you swag, mm -hmm. all this other shit, how your haircut look, all this other shit. That's promotion, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I say it's 80% promotion and 20% talent. You know what I'm saying? Because all they need, because really, okay, listen, when you hear a song and that beat is hard as fuck, you're like, man, it be hard as fuck. You're not listening to the lyrics. Yeah. You listen to that damn beat. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said it. They could be whack as fuck. That beat hard. Right, boom. Oh, blue face. <laughs> nah, nah, blue face. Blue face. That's what I'm saying. Blue, so blue face is hard. I fuck with blue face. Yeah. But it's simple fact that people yeah. don't like him because he, they think he rap on beat, but that's just a West Coast. That's, a, that's, just, that's just a West Coast sound. Yeah. You know, so think about E40. Think about uh, who else? It was a dude. I forgot that dude's name. They was in jail, but they were beating on that on that table. It was like a video. I forgot that dude's name. He's OG Summary. Sugar Free, that's what the name yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He rapped exactly like Blueface. Yeah, exactly no. like Blueface. No, exactly. Yeah, I mean, bro, it's just it's that West Coast vibe, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying no, I'm I fuck with Sugar Free. I fuck with you know Sugar rap exactly like Blueface at all. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, it, it's, 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 it's that West Coast, you know what I'm saying, sound that, yeah. you know what I'm saying, niggas. It's definitely. He, the he got, he got, because to be honest, the West Coast people was trying to sound like the South. For a minute, then that nigga came and niggas like this shit is ass. But little do you know, that's how the West Coast always sound. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, in a way, yeah, you right. You got a point. You got a point. So, I say he's West Coast, but I also say like I think he kind of one of the rappers that's ahead of their time. Like when niggas go back and like like sit and listen, yeah, like yeah, this thing. Yeah. This nigga kind of was saying some shit, bro. Like, that nigga got Yeah, 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 yeah. He keeps saying some shit. Hey, don't you know Blue what I mean? Blueface got bars. You said that nigga ain't got no nope. bars. You trip. Hey, Blueface got bars, bro. No, nah, for real, he do. You that know what I'm saying? Bars. Like, don't get me wrong. He, he, be, he be talking with some shit. He just be throwing people off because now, sometimes he say it. He say it, he say it but then he'll be kind of offbeat a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So shit, it still be going hard, but then, like, he'll say too much. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But so shit. They paying attention to everything else, the look, the swag. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. just promotion. The look, yeah. the swag. Oh, these niggas can't even see walk like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean? So so that's that's what niggas looking at. You know what I mean? But oh. that, that, that's just what it is. Now, okay, let me ask you this. For a nigga with money, you know what I'm saying? You got a little bread and you just so you just wanna jump in the rap game, like, what advice would you give him to like to 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 make it to where like he's hot in the rap game. 
Like you could be a nigga with money, but you're not yeah. high. Yeah, exactly. Shit, promotion, bro. It's all about, bro. Listen, if you don't have, if you have it, just like a dope, you know what I'm saying? Every dope boy want to be, you know what I'm saying, a rapper or want to try it out at least. Yeah. So when you have it, money, and you're not getting notices, bro. Promotion, nigga. You got, you got, bro. Phones, my nigga. Phones is like the pro, number one promotion. Instagram, nigga. Like. Pay a nigga for a shout out, nigga. Nigga is only charging nigga fifty dollars for a shout out, hundred dollars for a shout out. Dallas Globe, you know what I'm saying? Hundred dollars for a fucking post or you know what I'm saying? World Star, you know what I'm saying? If you have that money, you know what I'm saying, nigga. Spend that shit, nigga. The first nigga, bro. The first rule of business is you got to spend money, to make money. Everybody know that's the first rule of business. You know what I'm saying? So shit, if you're not spending no money, you really don't want nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because that's Every investment, you spend the money, you make money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah. shit, if you have the money, videos, bro, studio time, bro, paying a DJ, like I said, find that one badass stripper to go to all them motherfucking clubs. Tell that bitch, hey, wherever you go, goddamn, I'm, I'm throwing a hundred dollars on you. If you have the money like that, hundred dollars ain't shit then. Same shit Yellow Beach and them talking about when they was going to the strip club. They was spending four thousand dollars every weekend to tell the stripper, like, hey, that's my damn song, bitch, and I'm tipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the shit, the shit is easy, but niggas make it hard it's all because business. all business. That's what I'm saying. It's 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 it's, it's the music business. Music business is not the talent show. Right. You know what I'm saying. That's why I always say that to artists because and the first thing you say, bro, I go hard in this nigga, bro. What the fuck, bro? I go hard in this nigga. Duh, 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 duh. Like, yeah, but where is your promotion? You go hard, but where is your promotion that you spend it? Niggas don't even know that, you know what I'm saying, some of these niggas out here today that's like, you know what I'm saying, that's known are spending money on promotion. Like even your favorite artist that, that's not signed to a deal no more, you can see, you can see, you know what I'm saying, like what they spending their money on. Like, exactly. like QC is a perfect example. Exactly. They were independent, you know what I'm saying, rap group, like, but if you look at all amigos, you know what I'm saying, videos and shit. None of their videos, oh, average, God, all bro. of their videos, all their videos, every time you see them, they, 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 hundred K and up. Hell yeah, every time you see them, up. they clean, you know what I'm saying? They got, you, they got a haircut, they got clean clothes, exactly. or whatever it is, but you don't ever see a nigga too fucked up out here, and that's, that's showing you what, what they invested their money in. Exactly. And like, you gotta, you gotta understand that niggas don't understand when you, when them niggas put out an album, Bro, you not much promotion you niggas spend on fucking album promotion? Yeah, I think fuck, 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 fuck the music, bro. When the Super Bowl come on and Doritos or whoever wanna put their commercial on the Super Bowl, that shit costs 1.2 million to put a fucking 30 second fucking commercial on the fucking Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> and niggas crying about a hundred dollar post. <laughs> <laughs> But it's a, I mean, a lot of people don't don't know the, the value of business either, bro. Like they don't know real business. So when it comes down to the music, it, they think since they, they say it's a popularity contest, it, it is, is and it, it is. is to a certain point. But yeah. if you're not popular, then shit, you you gotta pay to play. No, that's just sure. that's, 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 that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? If you're not popular, you like that popping thing. You know what I'm saying? That everybody know in the hood or in your city or whatever, in your school or whatever. You have to pay. Even the Papa niggas gotta pay. Exactly. Nigga, I've seen what, what? Who just dropped some shit? Uh, Future, Future just dropped some shit. I just seen, you know, it's a sponsor on Instagram. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a like Future sponsor, whatever, like that. Nigga, promotion. Yeah. That nigga pay what? Probably like a thousand, two thousand dollars for promotion on Instagram. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas. Only person I can literally say. They can just drop some shit out of nowhere, it's Beyonce. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah, and she did that last night. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and the promotion go come behind that. Still. Exactly, because she's still. the number one female in, in the world. Yeah, that's a fact. That's <laughs> a fact. I mean, just it, it really just depends on how, how hard do you believe in yourself. Like, okay, like in your mind, yes. you got to say, okay, I'm going to pay for this shit. But shit, yeah, like you a hustler, you like, damn, all right, I'm gonna pay for this shit, but I know damn well I can make this back off of, exactly. you know what I'm saying, off, exactly. of, off of this and that. So exactly. I really don't, I, you know what I'm saying, I don't really get that part, but. 
So that, I don't know, bro. Let, let, let's talk about some of these female artists that they got coming up. Well, uh, I fuck with, uh, uh, what should I be talking about the other day? I keep on forgetting. Uh, Erica Banks. Erica Banks. She go hard, bro. Yeah. Erica Banks go fucking off. And she kind of fine. <laughs> Would you say she the uh, would you say she the hardest female rapper out right now? Well, I can't be a That's local or that's from yeah, period, period. Period. I wouldn't say she the hardest. Who's harder? harder? Who's harder? Asian dog. Mm, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but 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 you got bro. Niggas do not yeah, be yeah. listening with okay. Asian be saying. I'm asking bro. Asian dog harder because he's hotter. Or is he harder because he got harder ball? We need to see him more. Right? Well, really, but really, I haven't. I only listened to one song, really two songs from uh, Erica, from, uh, Erica, from Erica Banks. And now yeah, she doesn't have. A I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta listen to it more. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it needs to be fucking a song. Us, uh, my nigga, like her whole, her whole album. Uh, so I see princess, that shit hard, nigga. Yeah, I know. Like that shit is hard. But she, like, she is hard. Though. But I feel like Dallas is sleeping on her for some odd fucking reason. We don't see her. Like, like, yeah, I mean, Dallas don't see her. Y'all don't see her. Because that, that's because, on her. because Dallas had but, but I feel like she, like she she wasn't in the lane that Dallas was trying to put her in. She would she wasn't in the hood, in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Or the Urban like she was in that uh uh, uh what you call it uh, wow. uh, 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 uh rock and roll what you call that shit dude uh hipster. yeah the hipster hipster the hipster lane yeah. she gravitated to the hipster crowd yeah. you know what I'm saying and yeah, I feel like she, but how she a hipster and she talking about she a street bitch bro because all, all, bitch. listen 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 street listen I don't know she all, ain't all, 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 all these hipsters all these hipsters now like right now love funk uh fucking. Ski mask or some shit like that. They all saying that shit. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Playboy Party all saying that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But who that I go the Glock Party, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because the hipster crowd then mixed it in with the hood shit. It's okay. a difference now. It's a difference. You can tell the difference. So you say, okay, you can be a street nigga with hipster fans. Of course. Okay. Of course. Of okay. course. You know what I'm saying? Uh who what's that one nigga that fucking The baby. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, exactly. Like boys. Love this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you said, so would you say 10K is a hipster? Yes. Yes, yeah. of course. I don't think so. I yeah. think he's bigger than hipster. Bro, it, it, okay, he's this pop. Okay, no, 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 no. He's pop, bro. No, 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 no. He's pop, bro. No, he's, he's how's he pop? Because the, wall, the, the wall shit, the wall shit is the fucking culture now, bro. It, did y'all see that video? All the fucking white people trying to hit the wall. Yeah, that's, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, but I'm saying that's popular. That's I mean, pop, yeah, yeah pop, no, pop. I mean, it's popular, but the same thing is, he's a hipster because if I if I go to a black club, if I go to DGs, you know what I'm saying, or V Live, I can't play no ten K cash. Period. Damn. No. So you so no. at, I what, like, you, ain't go, you ain't gonna spend ten K at V Live unless he in there. Uh, if he's in there, maybe. But but you got you got to think about your environment. If I go to a college party, or if I go to a prom, or if I go anywhere like that, or if I go to Gas Live and I'm doing a concert, of course I'm playing the fuck out some ten k. You know what I'm saying? Okay. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying like, if I go to a hood crowd, I can't play no ten k. You gotta go to your your uh, your crowd. Sorry. So I can't play a basket club. So I can't make no basket song. It'd be live. <laughs> Let me give me your top five in the hood crowd. Like you just in a you in a hole in the wall. Like these niggas will fuck some shit up. <laughs> what five artists is you playing? Chief. Chief Keith. Boosie. Boosie. Webby. Uh Waka Fly. For real? If I wanna start some shit, if I wanna start some shit in a hole in the wall, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's do it. Hey. Especially that Lil Wayne version, I got 